survive in the snow. I put my snow gear to protect myself from the cold. But how do these animals protect themselves? We can learn that from the Wild Crat Brothers. Come on, let's read the book and find out what happens. Wild Crats, Wild Winter Creatures by Martin Crat and Chris Crat. Hey, it's us, the Crat Brothers. I'm Martin and I'm Chris and Brr. We're finding out how to stay warm with cold weather creatures. Whoa, their environment looks very, very cold, right guys? And did you see a little polar bear who was watching them in the Tortuga turtle ship? That Tortuga was the one who brought them to this very cold place. Many animals live in cold climates. They have amazing creature powers to help them survive in ice and snow. They have one or more of the three Fs. Oh yeah, the three Fs. Wow, the Crab Brothers are going to find out the creature power that makes that helps animals survive in the very icy cold snow. And does any of you guys know what the three Fs are? Fur, feathers, fat. They help keep creatures that live in the cold warm. Let's meet some winter creatures and activate creature powers. Oh, the three Fs are fur, feathers, and fat. That's a very good fact, guys. Snowy owl. Snowy owls have feathers as white as the snow. They keep owls warm. Snowy owls even have feathers on their toes. That's really good for standing in the snow. Maybe since the snowy owl has feathers as the white snow, maybe it can camouflage from its predators, right? And it has feathers on its toes. That's super amazing. Polar bear. Polar bears have thick coats of very warm fur. They walk in the snow, sleep in the snow, and play in the snow. Polar bears swim in icy water. Then they shake their bodies to dry out and fluff their fur. Polar bears sleep in the snow and play in the snow. That's very, very funny. And polar bears also swim in the icy cold water. I think that's because of their thick fur. Walrus. Walruses are big bodied. They have layers of fat called blubber. It keeps them warm in icy water. Walruses can look pink when blood travels to their skin to let off excess heat. Guys, the layers of fat on a walrus is called blubber. That word reminds me of rubber, guys. And the the walruses are usually brown, but they can turn pink when the blood flows to their skin. Snowshoe hare and ermine. In summer, snowshoe hares have brown fur. So do ermines. The ermine is a member of the weasel family. 
As winter approaches, their fur turns white. This helps them blend in with the snow when they hunt and hide. Wow! In the summer, snowshoe hair and ermine fur is brown, but in the winter, their fur is white. I think this helps them to camouflage to hunt and hide. Lynx. Lynxes have wide, flat feet that help them run on top of the snow. They chase prey such as snowshoe hares. However, snowshoe hares also have giant feet so they can run away. Big feet don't sink into the snow. Whoa, the lynx looks like a big gray tiger, right guys? And did you see the lynx has a big and wide feet? And the snowshoe here also has its powers which are camouflaging the snow and also running with their big wide feet. Musk ox. Musk oxen have long shaggy fur coats to keep them very warm. Musk ox cows snuggle inside the herd for extra warmth. Musk oxen form a circle to protect themselves from wolves. Calls in the middle, says Crips. Horns out, says Martin. The musk oxes have all have thick fur, but the newborn baby calves need a little extra warmth so they keep the cows in the middle of their circle so they can protect the cows from the wolves and the cold weather. Penguin. Penguins are covered with smooth feathers. The feathers keep them warm. These feathers also help them swim fast in cold waters. Penguins have to be speedy to escape leopard seals. So it's the feathers that keep the penguins warm in the icy cold water. And I think penguins need to be extra fast so they can escape those leopard seals. Winter birds. Many birds fly to warmer climates in the winter. Some do not. Birds in cold climates puff out their feathers to hold warm air close to their bodies. They find food in different ways. Blue jays and woodpecker dig up nuts and seeds. Woodpeckers also make holes in trees to get to the insects inside. Some birds fly to warmer places when it's winter season. Some do stay in the winter climate and because, and that's because they have thick feathers that help them survive in the cold weather. River Otter River otters have waterproof fur coats to keep them warm. In the water, they catch fish. River otters love to slide down hills. They use their bellies as sleds. They use a fourth theft to stay warm. River otters have warm waterproof fur that helps them stay warm. And river otters also use their bellies or stomachs to sled down on the snow. Under the snow. Some animals use the snow for protection. Voles and other small animals make tunnels under the snow. There, they are much safer from predators like snowy owls and lynxes. Whoa, this is fun, says Chris. It is like a snow fort. Did you see the small animals are making little tunnels under the snow? And the lynx is searching for them on the other picture. The Krat Brothers found it. Deep sleep. Some animals survive by sleeping through most of the winter. Hey bro, we can't sleep now. Some
some animals hibernate during the winter. That's another word for resting during the winter. Some animals hibernate in trees. And did you see Martin is sleeping on that polar bear thinking it's his bed? We've got to keep moving to stay warm. Good thing there are always more creatures to check out. Martin and Chris are warm with that creature power suit of the bear behind them. And don't forget, friends, there's always lot, lot, lot more creatures to learn about. So friends, I hope you learned all about the wild winter creatures and how they survive the three Fs, which is fur, feathers, and fat. Okay, and now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.